Hey everybody, welcome back to Level Pixel Level. Welcome back to the show. In this episode, I'm just going to add the controls for the eyes, some of the helmet pieces, and this back part of the armor right here. So first thing I'll do is just flip to the deform rig. I'm just going to isolate it and just select those bones that I know I want to duplicate. It's just these ones here. This is similar to what I've done with the other parts of the body where I just select them, I do Shift D to duplicate them. I can hit Escape to apply that operation. I'm just going to hit P and do Separate Bones. Again, now my outliner, I just have a new rig called Knight Deform Rig Dazer One. I'll hold Control and just click on Knight Control Rig. I'll flip out of Isolation Mode and I'll just do Control J. So now that I've added that to my Control Rig, I have those extra joints there. I'm doing this one piece at a time. I could have duplicated the entire Deform Rig off the top um, instead of doing a piece by piece like this. I just kind of like finishing sections of the body before I move on for certain things. All right, so first thing I want to do is just make sure this is all connected to the head. So if I move the head control, nothing changes. We'll just grab the eyes, the helmet pieces, and this last piece here on the helmet tail, and just shift click on the head, hit control P, and do keep offset. There's just an edit mode right there to do that. And I can just test this out. Cool, it's working well. All right, I'm gonna do this in a really simple uh, setup. I'm not gonna to get too complicated with my eye rig here. Uh, let's just actually rename these joints really quick. So I'll select on all of them. Just expand my script here. And on rename, I just want to comment out this line here. And I'll bring back in the main line here, but I'm just gonna put it above the dot zero zero one. That's just so that it renames the main first, then gets rid of the zero zero one, uh, just in that order. I'll just run this. Cool. So I've renamed all of these, and I can just confirm that by clicking on my bone tab. Yep, main helmet 01, main eye 01 left. Perfect. All right, let's just quickly add some shapes to these. Um, I'm just going to see what I have on the spine here, because I think that shape will work for pretty much everything. So that's circle 002. I'll just copy that, and I'll just apply it to all these joints going down here. I think I have a script for this as well. Yeah, I do. So I have this script right here, which is called shape update. So I'll just uh, comment out my rename function, bring back my shape update, select all of these bones. You know, I'll do the eyes and the helmet pieces as well too. They can all have the same shape. And I'll just paste that shape name in here, which was circle.002, and I'll just run this. So that's added those shapes to all those controls. Uh, I'll grab onto the tail here. And I'll bring back my character and I'll just size these to make them look nicer. I'll select one and just go through each one at a time, just making this look a little bit nicer along the rig. It doesn't take too long to adjust these. I'm pretty happy with the way that they're looking right there. Okay, last thing I do is just add them to a group. Actually, this one here I just want to make a little bit bigger so I'm able to see it, and then I'll add these to a group. I'll just select them all. Go to my rig tab or my armature tab here. Under bone groups, I'm just going to add another one. I'm just going to add this to a group called helmet. I'll make these green and click assign. I'll do the same thing for the uh, helmet controls here too. I'm just going to isolate my control rig just so I'm not looking through to my deform rig right now. There's just these two controls here. This is my lower helmet and this is my main helmet. I'm just going to assign these and they'll have that green color. Actually, I kind of don't like that green color. It's very dark. I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter like that. The eyes, I'm going to throw into their own group. I'm going to add a new group. I'll just call this eyes, and I'll make these uh, orange for now. Let's click Assign. I'll just go to my bone shape and just scale them in. I'm holding Alt, so I'm able to adjust both at the same time while I have them both selected. Cool. Now, that's not going to move my um, eye controls right now. I need to flip back to my deform rig and just add the uh, constraints in pose mode. So I'll select them all. And again, I think I have a script for this as well, a function that I've built. So I'll just expand that. And it's one called constraints here. Now under the constraints tab, I was adding the FK controls earlier. So I have that FK main. So I just got to remove that letter, those letters FK. Right and I'll just run this. And now if I just click on one of these, I have a constraint looking at the corresponding bone. So I'll bring back my control rig and I'll just test this out. Get rid of that text editor. So now this one move the eye. Good. And this one here will move the eye. Good. And that moves the top part of the helmet there. This one will move the bottom part of the helmet. 
And these ones down here will just have a nice FK chain down here. All right, so I did mention a long time ago about adding probably uh, another IK or FK setup to this piece here. I think what I'll usually do though is under the tools up here, there's a couple options here. And the one that I'm gonna use is something called Auto IK. So Auto IK basically makes an FK chain an IK setup. So here would be my FK going down the bone parent. And these are all parented back up to here to each bone like this. Auto IK only affects connected bones up that chain. So what it'll do is it'll make this one basically an IK target temporarily for that FK chain. So when I hit G to move this, I get this really interesting IK target. Now I kind of don't like how it's going all the way up to this joint here. I kind of wish that that one would stay static. So what I can do is I can click on this one. I can go to the bone, flip to edit mode, and under relations, I'm just going to turn off connected. Remember, auto IK only affects connected bones. So now it's only going to go up to there. So I can move that around and get some interesting um, IK setups while still having the ability to rotate this. And IK puts all of the keys onto your FK controllers. All right, I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna select everything, hit Control R. I'm just gonna make everything XYZ Euler for now, just to keep it consistent. I'll hit Alt H, that brings back my root node. And that finishes up this section of the video. Um, in the next one, I'm gonna start doing a cleanup of everything. I'm gonna add some additional constraints and I'm gonna do some final weight painting before I get into my animation test. Thank you so much my patrons for supporting this video and supporting this series. Uh, they've been a big part of this and it's because of them that I get to make this. Head on over there if you want exclusive content, early access, and even some behind the scenes footage. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye